Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. Uh, one of my favorite body care products lately has been the Beauty Canvas Body Glaze and the Body Drops. I've been really appreciating the different, the variety of fragrances, a lot of gourmand fragrances. Uh, they just released their spring line not long ago, and I haven't come on here and given you guys my thoughts. I have been using the products i've brought them up in videos already you know with my layering combos and all that uh, so i want to talk to you guys about my new haul and then i have a couple of questions for you hopefully you can help us out here in the scent closet community um, answer other subscribers questions that they've brought up to me um, so let's get right into it if this is something you're interested in go ahead and continue watching consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos now in the description, I will link the very first video with my first haul and just how astonished I was, you know, at the consistency of the product, the, the uniqueness of the product, the scents, um, you know, all of that, just raw, <laughs> uh, just raw, very first impression. Um, but for today, we're definitely going to break down these new scents. Uh, I'm going to start off with the questions because I just, I, inquiring minds would love to know. Um, first question, did anybody snagged? snag not snagged the uh, mother's day special le bouquet because i did not even though i really wanted to it was in my cart i almost hit send send because i am pending to do another order um and i didn't get to i didn't get to order it um i stayed away from it because i thought oh that's gonna be floral i'm not i'm not in in the market however i saw the notes and it was already sold out um it in the top it has cranberry and red currant um in the mid rose petals golden apple and jasmine and in the base raspberry sugared musk and sweet vanilla bean and i thought what if it's sweet and clean smelling and just beautiful if anybody picked it up let us know in the comments how that went for you because i'm super curious and i haven't watched any reviews you guys like i've just been so so busy <laughs> um next question quest question number one question number two is if anybody has indulged in the body glazes um we did have a question uh from a subscriber asking if you throw on this body glaze all over can you head to the gym and will you not be slipping and sliding off all the equipment <laughs> I can't answer that I haven't been to the gym in forever um, anything I do here at home is not super rigorous you know I don't get I've never been a huge you know buckets of sweat or anything so um, yeah I wouldn't be able to answer that um, in my personal opinion would I you know lather myself up with body glaze um, probably and head to the gym probably not because they're really strongly scented these fragrances um so if anything if you want that moisture i would go for the unscented and i would do it the night before my experience with these glazes is that is that they're so nourishing on your skin they really do last and you could you could get away with not wearing it the full day if you applied at night very liberally <laughs> so yeah that that's that's my opinion but if you guys can confirm whether you have or not worn this to the gym let me know because <laughs> i i don't know i really don't okay let's get into that was embarrassing let's get into the fragrances you guys i went over the mother's day special fragrance that i don't have um please fill me in um and let's start off on a bit of um an, an unfortunate foot <laughs> you know uh, on an oopsies um blueberry bay you guys i did order the body glaze of blueberry bay um but my friend went ahead and got in before i got my glaze he got in his blueberry bay body drops he was really looking forward to this it has succulent berries whipped meringue burp blueberry swirl strawberry cream and in the base some whipped vanilla a uh, bean and some brown sugar um we were really looking forward to this for the blueberry tone i was looking forward to mix it with um my um my poets of berlin uh what other fragrance the one umbrella for two by juliana's perfumes that i loved it's called a kiss in the rain that's what i wanted this for however what assaults my senses from this fragrance is a 
a medicinal vibe, a cough, a Robitussin type vibe. So I personally did not enjoy that opening and I really didn't let it get to the dry down. Um, so I don't get a strong, you know, beautiful natural blueberry, unfortunately. I would say that, um, yeah, this just didn't, it wasn't what I was expecting, okay? If you enjoy a really strong, strong berry tone, uh, yes, it definitely does lean lean blueberry, uh, but it doesn't, to me, doesn't have, you know, that, un, like maybe that whipped merengue. I was expecting this to smell a little like the whipped merengue by Bath & Body Works. No joke, no lie, this one. The whipped merengue, with fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. I was expecting it to be more in this vicinity, um, and it wasn't. It gave me a really strong medicinal opening. So um, yeah, I won't be able to full on enjoy this, but if you do um, want to experience this, actually, my good friend has donated this to the channel. So if you want to smell like a really strong berry, very strong berry, and, and then suffer, suffered through that opening <laughs> that I didn't personally enjoy. Um, if you want to try that out, you guys, comment down below, blueberry. <laughs> That's it. Just comment blueberry. Um, and I will go ahead and pick somebody to send this to, okay? So you guys can try it out. Um, I don't need to keep it around here because I, I know for a fact that I won't use it personally. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you guys want to try that out, let me know. Now, let's move on to another one I was really excited about. Um, I did order the Blueberry Bake Glaze, but um, I sent it back without even opening it because I knew how the drops smelled. <laughs> also, the drops are much stronger in scent than the glaze is. Um, so I thought maybe I'd be able to rock it, but... I didn't, I didn't want to try. <laughs> um, so here we have the perfect pear, you guys. And this has fresh, honey, crisp apple. It has a juicy pear and a sweet pea. Then in the base, sugar cubes, fresh vanilla blossoms, and floral musk. And this is a beautiful pear. Um, really strong, strong, sweet apple and pear. I do get an apple tone and for a little while it reminds me so much of Victoria's Secret Tea Sugar Floor. That opening in here. When I start rubbing that in I'm like oh this would go great. <laughs> Let me get it. I did not prepare. I'm so sorry. But this is what it's giving me, okay? Um, just the tone of the sweetness and, and um, you know, that apple that we have in here. I get that in here a little bit to where it doesn't smell one-to-one. -one. I'm not saying they're dupes of each other. I'm just saying it would coordinate wonderfully, okay? That, that's the sensation it's giving me. I do end up just really enjoying this pair, okay? It goes wonderful with your Ariana Grande's God is a Woman. Um, anything, just a sweet, fresh pair. The very brand new Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar 42. Yes, it goes beautiful with this, you guys. No judgment, okay? Hold on. No judgment. And I haven't even... Ah! Sorry. Jeez. <laughs> I haven't even sent out the 5 mLs that I promised you guys for Mother's Day, but it's coming. Uh, for, I'm not sure if I've picked a winner yet by the time uh, that I post this video, but look at this. I will be sharing another 5 mLs from this gem because I am just tearing into this. I love it. <laughs> okay, I love it. This is a beautiful beautiful combo all right this perfect pair goes amazingly with vanilla candy rock sugar amazingly i can't get enough <laughs> okay guys uh that is it right there okay i've just realized something hmm i'm saying it I said that the perfect pear, the tone of the apple reminds me of vanilla i'm sorry a tea sugar floor and a lot of people were saying that the tea sugar floor smelled along the lines of the vanilla candy rock sugar. And I didn't see it. I still don't, actually. I don't see this comparison here at all. But I, now I'm kind of like, okay, but they coordinate very well, you know? This one also has a bubblegum note, but it's a little bit fleeting. Uh, but yeah, no, they coordinate well. They don't smell like each other, like dupes, but they coordinate very well. So 
yeah that's nice <laughs> what a realization oh very nice okay let's move along here next we have orange dreamsicle you guys orange dreamsicle this is the orange dreamsicle of my dreams yes it is uh my little girl actually does not care for the opening to this she told me that it was way too realistic orange she's like oh that's orange i said isn't it beautiful she's like without even seeing the top of this i just had her smell it and she says that smells like those things with the ice cream in the middle and i said an orange creamsicle <laughs> And she said yes they got this right on the money you guys orange creamsicle is a dream of a fragrance okay this dries down to the most yummy yummy vanilla and i just want to do things with this so many things i want to definitely wear um Dolce and gabbana's devotion with this i want to wear I have a vanilla ice cream lotion. I have, you know, just different vanillas with some with some orange nuances in there. And there there's plans in the works for this. This is a gorgeous dreamsicle scent. Um, you can also pair it with other things. It doesn't have to be orange related. Uh, it's just going to give you such a wonderful ice cream vibe. I mean, it just is. This has in it sweet cream, ripe clementines, uh, orange sherbet, freshly squeezed orange juice, and vanilla cream. They did an amazing job, okay? This is a gorgeous fragrance. I love it. <laughs> All right, next we have, I actually don't have it here because let me tell you, I ordered the Key Lime Divine in the drop format and they ended up sending me the body glaze so i did not open i mean you know i didn't use it so i opened it smelled it and i thought hmm <laughs> i'm not a fan so let me tell you what i what impression it gave me the key lime divine has in it whipped cream cinnamon sugar mint notes of key lime zest graham cracked crust and custard in the base vanilla bean musk and brown sugar as well i get a really strong strong zest like a like a um like that like a sandalwood tone um and the key lime zest is it's just too much for me is what i got when i i didn't even you know touch it and when I smelled it like that, I was like, oh, it hit me in the back of my throat. And I thought, that's going to be too much for me. So I didn't get to try it, you guys, because they sent me the wrong product. And then I was like, mm, I don't need it. <laughs> so, yeah, oops, I, 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 I'm not, a, I'm not, you know, going to get to experience that. But if you've experienced it and you're enjoying it, again, let us know. <laughs> okay, next we have Grapefruit Galore. Oh, my goodness. I had a feeling. I watched the live when Stormy was live, you know, presenting these. I did catch a bit of it and I caught her saying that she absolutely adored Grapefruit Galore. And I had a feeling that I would too. This was the one, this and the pear was the one I was most excited about. Now this one has in it sun ripened citrus and fuzzy peach. In the mid, pink grapefruit blossoms, uh, black currant, rose. I was afraid of the rose. In the base, we have freshly picked raspberries, sugared musk and vanilla and they have just made the most beautiful grapefruit i've already been layering with this look at that i've gone in i've been wearing this layering with it loving it this is a sweet sugared grapefruit oh it's so sweet and juicy it really is this is just a gorgeous they changed the packaging by the way they now have on their label over here doesn't over here does and it it feels a little more compact to me also the packaging uh but anyways gorgeous yes it ended up being the favorite of the haul for me i love this this is versatile you could wear it with anything really uh that you want to just have a tropical feel a sugared citrus who doesn't love a sugared citrus if you don't love a sugared citrus you won't love this Oh, but I sure do. It's not a tart, um, you know, just unappealing grapefruit scent. It doesn't attack your senses. It's, you know, really soft. My coworkers loved this. They ordered it. <laughs> and, and they don't really care about fragrances. And they're like, I love that smell and the way it feels on my skin. So, yay. I'm just out there, you know, giving Beauty Canvas here free PR because, oh, this is delicious. 
Um, yeah, this is my favorite and it, it goes so nicely. I've already brought it up in layering combos, you guys. Favorite of the bunch. It, it's just the favorite, okay, of, of this haul. Um, now last I did, but not least, I ordered some drops. I did order some Keep It a Hunted drops. I was interested in the glaze when I smelled it. Uh, my coworker had bought it and I, I, I got to smell it and I loved the vanilla dry down. It has a beautiful little vanilla dry down. Now this has in it fre uh, crisp, fresh dollar bills, sandalwood, amber, and oak moss with undertones of vanilla. And that's what seals the deal for me. Oh, the opening is, it is very fresh. I wouldn't say that this is um, masculine leaning. I would say this is unisex, but you have to like sandalwood. This does have a sandalwood tone. I mean, it's there. You can't say it's not. Definitely there. Uh, but there's nothing that is sharp. There's nothing that attacks my senses. It is very smooth. And that sweet vanilla undertone is so beautiful. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. I would love to pair this with um, with Lieb by uh, YSL with the with the one with vanilla, the, the, the jasmine and the vanilla. The intense version. I would love to, to do that. Um, I think it would be a nice combo, the oil with that and probably something else. Oh, maybe a different glaze or something, but yes. <laughs> I mean, definitely, you guys. Oh, the Keep It 100 is nice in the drop formula. Um, I'm not going to order the, the glaze because um, I have plenty here in the collection already. I mean, gosh, how many do we end, did we end up with? This is my daughter's. I haven't reordered mine uh she ended up collectively in this house everybody loves uh scent from heaven everybody loves that one another one if you you know if you don't have any um i would say scent from heaven is good really really good it's a nice sweet it also has a vanilla undertone um it might it has like a perfumey tone maybe but not I can't explain it that one. I've never been able to. It gives me kind of like the Sol Janeiro 60, the, the pink one, the 68. That's what that one gives me. Um, and then, and just sweeter. So good. <laughs> um, Siama is another one that everybody loves here. And it has a perfume tone as well. My little one's been getting into this. Look at how she does. That's funny. She loves this one. This one's got a clean aesthetic to it and just kind of like a, a watermelon, you know, like a like an aquatic tone to it as well. Really fresh and beautiful. So Siama, you know, it is a close second in the house. I go for Scent from Heaven over this. That's just me because <laughs> I, you know, I prefer and I love vanilla. Um, so for sweet marshmallow, you know, vanilla type-esque fragrances out of all the collection, my favorite go-to recently has been the marshmallow, um, toast. Not that anybody's asking, but I'm just saying what my favorites have been. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. This is sweet, sweet, beautiful. It opened up so nicely. It was a really, uh, you know, not that faint at first, um, because it was mixed up, but it was, it grew, it grew on me all of a sudden. I'm just like, I am loving this marshmallow toast. <laughs> you know, it wasn't my favorite of, of all of them. And now it's like, this is the most neutral to me. Really nice. Um, and then if you, um, are in the market for another citrus, another really fresh, sweet citrus, drunken peach is your wonderful, is peach citrus. I mean, it gives me citrus vibes for certain. Yeah, orchard, wonderfulness. Drunken peach is, is another favorite. <laughs> I have so many favorites already. I do have the bo the body drops that I, I need to utilize more uh, because I do I do love the scent of that uh, peach. It's, it's beautiful. Okay, that was my haul, you guys, for a uh, Beauty Canvas Body Glaze, my latest haul. She's always coming out with good stuff. There are little samples, I believe, that they're making available on Fridays if you guys want to snag the sample pack of their, um, you know, um, what is it? Their best sellers. Uh, you might want to go ahead and grab, grab some of that. And if you have any questions, of course, you let me know down below. 
And if you would love to add some Blueberry Bay in your life, comment down below, you guys. I'll definitely, uh, you know, pick somebody to send that to and bless you guys with. So appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.